This is the situation at the end of the first turn of September 1914. German artillery has finally battered down the uh, fortresses of Namur and they should attack. Next turn to take those. Uh, there's been a horrendous battle between the um, British Expeditionary Force and the German First Army. Uh, the BF's not in a very good state now, to say the least. Um, the uh, French armies are starting moving north. Um, the, the French 6th Army is forming up on the British left, and the French 9th Army on the British right. Uh, the front to the south is fairly static at the moment, both sides concentrating on the war in the north. Uh, Belgium units are still pinned in Antwerp. Uh, they're going to have to start thinking about what they're going to do here, right, whether they evacuate out Antwerp. Um, situation on the Eastern Front. Russian 1st and 2nd armies are closing in on the German 8th army in East Prussia. Russian offensive, massive offensive has broken off all the way down the uh, the Austrian frontier. And the, um, the Russians have got a new army forming up here and, and the uh, Austro-Hungarians haven't really got any more units, they're going to have to scrape together some sort of formation to counter that, otherwise they could be in a really nasty situation. The uh, positions in Serbia is that uh, again the Austrians are pressing, they've had a, some really good dice rolls against the Serbians and Serbia are, are in real trouble now. In the Montenegro in front, which stalemate and the beginnings of trench warfare are starting there. 